What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of the life of our food pantry. And I'm super excited. We're going to head over to Midwest now. I think the guys are over there. Um, we're going to talk to some people, interview some people there, um, and load the truck, head to church. At church, we actually have a new group of kids from Job Corp who have been helping us uh, the past you know, two times that we have been giving out groceries. So I actually want to talk to some of them in let them be able to share their story with you guys and uh, hopefully you can learn some more. So let's head out over there and I'll see you there. We're back. We're here. Another Tuesday. Another Tuesday. Second day of the week, another Tuesday. Woo! Let's go. What's this, potatoes? Some good old sack of potatoes. He has some eggs. Fruit. Dang, what's that milk? Hmm? More organic stuff. Got a good variety. Is that cookies? Wonder <laughs> bread. I wonder if it's bread. Why do I volunteer here at Midwest Food Bank? That's real easy. Uh, the Bible tells us to whom much is given, much is required. And this is my opportunity to serve and to give back, and I'm grateful for that opportunity. Hi, my name is Joe Cook. I serve as a board member and a full-time volunteer here at Midwest Food Bank New England. I've been involved since the beginning and just thankful to uh, be able to give back, and I'm grateful for that. I've lived here for 40 years, and I became aware of Midwest Food Bank through a turkey distribution in New York City we do annually. I also was involved early on with our Midwest Food Bank Kapu Africa uh, efforts in Kenya and Tanzania and from there got involved with another couple to see if there was uh, a need to have a location here for Midwest Food Bank in the New England area. So I serve somewhat as a volunteer warehouse manager working with John as the operations manager. Um, I'm blessed to come in most days and to help out as needed forklift work, receiving, loading trucks, uh, and then some office things over on the other side too. One of the highlights of my week is Tuesdays when Pastor Will and his son William come in with their team to get food for the ministry they have there on Tuesday afternoons. I've also been blessed to have been involved with a couple of remote distributions at the church and I'm just amazed at the joy that I see with the volunteers and all who come together in the service of the Lord. It's, it's an amazing thing to watch. Giving back to the community, as I mentioned, is what it's all about. And we know that if it were just maybe one circumstance here or one circumstance there, that it could be uh, myself or my wife or someone else close to me who might need food. So we understand things happen. And so the fact that we're able to rescue food and then to give it to those who get it to the people who need it is a wonderful place to be. Thankful for that. Yeah, if you have a heart to serve in whatever uh, give back capacity that is, I would urge you to, to seek that out. There's a lot of opportunities. And here, we, uh, we bring in bulk foods if you were interested in, in uh, volunteering here. A lot of bulk foods that need to be broken down. So we have teams come in from church groups to Girl Scouts to corporate uh, opportunities, just many, many chances, but do your best to give back. Well, what's happening, y'all? It's me again, William, back here with the food pantry, as you can see right here, but man, if you follow me, come right here in the kitchen. And this is my, my beautiful mom right here. Your mama, you know what I'm saying? So she's part of uh, the food the pantry. Look at all this pizza. Look at that. It's glorious. Beautiful. Feels like the feast in the old days. <laughs> but um, yeah, she does a phenomenal job with cooking for us, making sure that we're good, that we're well fed, and um, the involvement is pretty dope. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, look, even more stuff. Look at that, more peppers. <laughs> Let's go. Good stuff, baby. So my name is Brian. I am the coordinator at the Goodwin University Harvard Training Center. Um, we have a connection with Job Corps where we have their students come and we offer free training. Uh, through the course of a conversation with one of the directors from Job Corps, we were identified that the students needed to get a certain amount of hours in the community. 
And so we started talking about what's available in Hartford. I spoke about New Life in the food ministry, which I am part of the team. And they were very excited and they came to see it. Um, and they were thrilled and you know, allowed their kids to come. They've come, the director has come, one of the teachers has come. Um, making the connection with uh, Pastor Will and uh, myself. Uh, we've had the kids come for three straight weeks now and they're amazing. And, and, you know, and I don't just say that to say it, truly they're amazing. The kids come to the school, um, really about their work, about learning, about doing something with their life. And as you know, we know what's going on in the streets, we know that you know for this to be happening with these young people is really amazing. And so they get to come serve the community, they get to come help, they're, they're very joyful, they're very um, adamant about you know, giving back. And so it's a win-win. My name is David. Uh, I go to Hartford Job Corps. Come here to volunteer and help out the church. Just, you know, unloading the truck. We just moved to Connecticut a year ago. And um, when we moved, we kind of left our family, our friends. So it was, it was different change, but it was great. We were looking for a church and, you know, started volunteering here. And I live right up there. So started coming here for church on Wednesdays. I went to the youth group on Friday, went to service on Sunday. The, the, the first thought was connections, you know, because I feel like it's not about what you know, it's the people you know. So I feel like when you know people, you have different connections of outlets and other stuff like that. So I feel like when I came here, kind of get to know the people, know what they're like, you know, know what they do, you know, know their background. That's where I met Brian at Goodwin, because I, I attend there. So it was kind of how everything started. I really love the energy, I love the vibe, I love the people. So I, feel, I felt like uh, I was welcomed, you know, like an open arms kind of thing, so yeah. It feels great. I mean, this is definitely my first time doing it, but, you know, besides coming from Job Corps, it really feels like an opportunity to help others, you know. It's always what I wanted to do, especially growing up, not being able to help as much, especially getting an opportunity to help, you know, the community, just, you know, certain people that need it. You know? When I made the friends there, they definitely motivated more, and, you know, if I ever need something, they're there, kind of kind of there to just help guide me as well. So I feel like definitely the kids here now, we're all, we're all focused on our trade. Most of us are probably done. One, he's, he's closing out Friday, he'll be leaving. So I mean, it's, it's really great. I really love what we're doing for ourselves. Um, I feel like it's definitely worth it. Uh, I feel like even if you can't give, you have people around you that can, and you, can, you guys can just make something happen and give out to the community. So I feel like if you want to, it's definitely worth it. It's really good for you, it helps you, it helps them, it helps everybody, you know. Uh, so my name is Edwin Belgrave and I'm one of the volunteers here at the food pantry. We unload the trucks and uh, separate the foods so we can give it out to the community. So I retired about two years ago and I, as soon as I, start, I retired I started coming here to the food pantry to help. Uh, so yeah, it's about two years now. I'm a recent retiree from the Army, did about 27 years and now uh, I work for Delta Airlines. Uh, Actually, I just, I, I really just want to give back to the community, so that's why I came to, to New Life. I'm a member of the church, and uh, now I actually have the opportunity where I can help out. So giving back to the community feels really good. Um, for a long time, I, I've been blessed, and just because of my schedule and things that I had going on in my life, I wasn't able to give back. Uh, now it feels great. I can come here every Tuesday and just, uh, and just help out and make sure that, you know, we are doing what God calls us to do and, and to take care of each other. So New Life connects church through to the community through this pantry by like, we, we bring those people in that maybe they're just here to get food and we, we give them the opportunity to see what church is about. We give them the opportunity to get prayer. We give them the opportunity to come in and, and, and just talk. And, and a lot, I think a lot of the times that leads to uh, opening up to what religion could be, what what God can do in your life. Just coming here and seeing us, I mean, we're the group here is so diverse. We come here every weekend. We just we do our best to to help out. If you wanted to give back to the community, get involved. I just recommend you come down. Like come down, talk to somebody that's here, and, and we'll get you involved. We we don't turn anybody away. We can use all the help we can get. Um, the faster we get the trucks unloaded, the faster we get everything separated, the better it is for, for the people that are out here waiting. People come here two hours before we, we're even ready to go just to make sure that they can get in line. And I think it's great that we can give back. I just, you know, the more help, the better.
So the impact I've seen with our food pantry to the community is, I have to say they're the same people come every week and you can tell that they, they use this food pantry to, to help sustain them, right? They're excited every week when they come. And, and I can tell you, for me, um, we donate a lot of food to, to people that need it. And I really believe that it, it improves the, just the way people can live in this area. Be on his Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Please go the Gatorade. 